science knowledge only adds to the excitement and mystery and the awe of a flower. Evidence is evidence. It's public. Everybody can look at the evidence and assess it and eventually, if there's enough evidence, come to the same conclusion. Cockatoos with attitude. Cockatoo. Hi, my name is Don Scott. I am the executive director for the Chloe Sanctuary for Parents and Cockatoos, and welcome to Cockatude, episode eight. Are your nails sharp, or are you just happy to see me? We have preempted our regular episode because of my sinus problem, and instead we're doing an episode on how to do nails. Now, one important thing, I mean, there's several facets to it. You have to be able to get to their feet first, and in order to get to these little feet, you have to make them comfortable with you touching your feet. So the, the first thing you need to do is to develop that comfort zone. And generally the way to do that is using techniques from applied behavior analysis. Um, most people think of it as reward training, but there is a bit more to it than that. Uh, what you wanna do is to be able to hold a foot. If you were gonna work on a foot, you have to be able to hold it. You have to be able to get them on a perch and hold their foot. So the first thing you need to do is to find a treat that in most cases it's going to be something to eat. Some birds prefer petting, it does happen. But you have to find a treat that the bird responds to the most, whatever it likes the best. Give it small amounts of the treat while you're training. So what you're gonna do at first is if a bird doesn't like to have its feet handled, you're gonna offer a treat only when you're touching the foot. So you're gonna go up and touch the foot, just touch it, and give them a little treat at the same time. And after a while, you're gonna get it to where you can manipulate the foot, where you can hold a foot. She's all antsy, because she just got out of her cage. I just got back from going to a job. So, um, so you get it to where you can hold the foot, and where you can get them to stretch out their foot, and you're going to take your time first. You're going to get them so they're comfortable with having their foot touched. Give them a little treat as you touch it. And eventually you're going to be able to massage the whole foot. And then eventually you can pull the foot up so you can get to it easier. And then be able to manipulate each individual toe. These are all things that you're going to work slowly to do. Now some birds will respond immediately and will let you touch their feet this way. And that part's all done so you don't have to worry about it. But if you do, remember, a little treat, you touch the foot, give them a treat at the same time, touch the foot, give them a treat at the same time, eventually holding the whole foot, manipulating each of the toes, and then once you've done that with one foot, practice with the other. Once the bird's comfortable with that, you start working with them on a perch, or you can do this on a perch in the beginning, but the main thing is to get them where they're comfortable with the toe being touched on the feet, and then you're going to introduce whatever it is. Now, most birds can handle a Dremel, but if, they're, if the noise is too much for them or they're frightened by it, you're going to have to bring it in slowly. Cockatoos are not as skittish as parrots, so it's easier with cockatoos. But you're going to want to bring whatever you're using, whether it be nail files or... You want to bring it up to the bird. If they show any signs, raising their feathers on the back of the neck, turning to as if they're looking for a place to go to flee to. Anything like that, you want to take it far enough away where they stop doing that, and then slowly bring it in. And as they become more comfortable, offer them a little bit of a treat, along with having that close to them. And then you'll take and you'll take the file and touch it to their toe. Give them a treat, and eventually you'll be doing their nails. Um, just coming across it a couple of times, give them a treat, and before long, you won't be giving them a treat until you're done with all of their toes. But you work through it slowly, doing a little bit at a time until they're comfortable with all of it. I don't recommend clipping the nails. Uh, if you clip nails and you clip it too close to the nerve, 
That may cause so much pain, the bird will associate that pain with the nail clippers, and then you're gonna have a heck of a time doing the nails. Uh, the other thing is a nail clipper just puts a blunt edge on it, the sharp. The end of it is flat, and there's sharp edges all around, where if you're using a Dremel, you can actually work it down, shape it, make the, the toenail look the way it should, and also the bird can give you some feedback as to if you're getting too close to the nerve. I haven't drawn blood in a year at least. So once you get used to working with the Dremel, you can just cut it back and then just trim it back and trim it back and trim it back. Nail, Nail files can be used if the bird is skittish of a Dremel. It does take longer. I couldn't do 12 birds here in less than about two hours if I were using a nail file. Using a Dremel with a foot switch, it's, it's safe because if I pull my foot up, the Dremel stops working, I can shut it off instantly. Dremels do the fastest and most efficient cut and also help to shape the nail in a, in a proper fashion. Uh, one thing you'll note is that you, if you have a bird that cannot fly, and I don't recommend a trimming wings, and there's plenty of evidence why that's a bad idea, but, but if you're trimming nails and you have a bird that cannot fly or has bad balance, then you need to actually sharpen the nail up once it's trimmed so that they have the ability to grip. You don't want them to have a complete lack of balance. We have one bird here, Roman, who is missing feathers and they won't come back. It almost as if they were intentionally and those follicles were damaged intentionally by a vet. Um, so he has terrible balance. And for him, when I, when I do his nails, especially when I do the back nails, he has a problem with balance. So uh, it, it does make it a little more difficult. So on to the trimming. The first thing we're gonna do is go through the tools, describing each of the tools rather quickly, what can be used and, and how they're used. Then we're gonna go through one set with Sal showing how to do the nails. And then following that, all 12 birds in sequence, uh, having their nails done so you can see it being done. And this was all done in one session that lasted 47 minutes when I cut their nails. And part of that, of course, is going to get the other bird and bringing them back. Or in a couple of cases, there's some birds who like to flap and try to get away um, in the beginning and then they calm down. So. Enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to email us at uh, fatherdon at chloesanctuary.org or go to our website, www.chloesanctuary.org and use our contact page to get a hold of us. You can also reach us at our phone number, 760-565-2374. That's 760-565-BIRD. Don't expect someone to pick up the phone, though. That doesn't happen too often. We're a little busy to talk, but leave a message and we'll try to get back to you. The best way to contact us, though, is not via the phone. It's through email. So if you email us, you're most likely going to get a response. If you don't, for some reason, if it gets lost or we're just busy, please email us again. So let's get started. Parrots and cockatoos have zygodactyl feet, two toes facing forward and two toes facing back. They can grip with these toes, much like we can with our hands. It will help to understand the physiology of their foot. They move their toes in unison. They cannot move individual toes by themselves. The muscles do not permit this. So when you're working with cutting nails, you're going to be manipulating toes into position to work with. They can't do that themselves. We encourage them to open their feet and try to keep them from making a fist. A trimmed nail should have the nice arc that you see in this picture. The nail on a healthy bird should not cut too easily. You should have to work to reduce the size of it. A nail that cuts too easily may be a sign of a nutritional deficiency. The blood supply that services the nail comes close to the tip. 
The bird will usually indicate if you are getting too close by making a loud sound. Often the sound is reminiscent of a dog bark. You can often purchase nail files at dollar stores. They are available in cosmetic sections of most drug stores. The handheld Dremel pet tool is battery operated. Don't let that fool you. Although it is not as powerful as the corded electric Dremel, the area between the Dremel tool itself and the bit can catch feathers and rip them off the body of your bird. For this reason, concentrate on using the tip of the bit wherever possible. Our tool of choice here at the sanctuary is a foot actuated 10 speed electric drum. The foot switch allows us to quickly turn on the tool or off depending on the circumstances. This is a much more powerful tool than the handheld battery operated unit. Nails cut more quickly and the Dremel bits last longer. Always grind nails in small bursts. The Dremel tip generates heat against the nail. This also reduces the chance of trapping feathers between the bit and the body of the Dremel. The best bit to use is the conical one shown here. No matter what technique you use, you should have some clotting agent around. In our experience, we have found super clot to be the best. The next best way to learn something, besides doing it yourself, personal experience, is to watch someone else do the job. In the following 12 sequences, you will see all of our birds receiving a nail trim. But first, Sal will show the basic technique. The use of files is shown when we are trimming Roman's nails. Roman has never become comfortable with the Dremel. If you are enjoying our videos, we hope that you can find it in your heart to support our work. It costs between $25,000 to $30,000 a year to care for our flock of heartbroken and abused birds. Most of our birds came with feather destructive disorder. Even a basic exam with blood work costs $300. Medical emergencies cost us thousands a year. We are a nonprofit and donations are tax deductible to the full extent of the law. We need your support. Birds deserve a happy and healthy life. Become our patron at www.patreon.com slash Chloe Sanctuary to support us on a per video basis or donate at our webpage today. Yes, I know you hate to be preened and get your mind off of everything else. Lots of cameras, I know, I know. We're gonna do your nails. We're gonna do your nails, okay, see? Yep, we're gonna do them. I do actually have to put my foot on the controller first. It usually does help. I know. Now let's do this one. Whoa. 
let me hold your foot up here. Let's hold it up. What are you doing? Okay. Now, let's do the back one. Yeah, that one's getting a little sensitive, I can tell. Now, this is good. Very good. Now, let's do the other foot while we're at it. Let me see the other foot. There you go. Good boy. Really not much point in doing one without doing the other, right? Boy, we have this little one here. Okay. Good boy. Boy, Cecil. Uh-huh. 
Kai. Good Kai. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is good. Kid, you've seen the cameras before. You're okay. You're okay. We're gonna do your nails. That's all. Oh, there you go. Oh, don't start that already. I haven't even touched your nail. Oh, don't start. I hardly even touched it. Bob, I hardly even touched it. Uh, I don't believe you. It's not even. I barely even thought of that. Okay. Come here. No, come here. I don't believe you. That's better. Stop that. Don't you dare threaten me. Uh huh. What else do you have to say? What else do you have to say, Bob? Hmm? Any other comments on the events of the day besides app? Uh, this one's a little overgrown, big boy. What well, is? Try to get them to about the same way here, so you'll be a little more stable, kid. <laughs> Daddy's doing this when he's sick. Yeah. Because it has to be done whether or not I'm sick or not. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. It's irritating. I know. Yeah, I know. This one's a little overgrown too, Bob, so I gotta get it down. Alright. You just do that on a regular basis, don't you? You don't really pay much attention now. You only have one left to do, and it won't take long. It's overgrown, Bob. It's overgrown considerably. Right? That's good. Very good, Bob. That's a good boy. Bob's a good boy. Thank you, Bob. You did so well. <laughs>if you are enjoying our videos, we hope that you can find it in your heart to support our work. It costs between $25,000 to $30,000 a year to care for our flock of heartbroken and abused birds. Most of our birds came with feather destructive disorder. Even a basic exam with blood work costs $300.
Medical emergencies cost us thousands a year. We are a nonprofit, and donations are tax deductible to the full extent of the law. We need your support. Birds deserve a happy and healthy life. Become our patron at www.patreon.com slash Chloe Sanctuary to support us on a per video basis or donate at our webpage today. Dance with me, don't you? Don't you? You just have to do this when you're dancing, please. You know, you can't let your nails get too long, so... If we have to dance, we have to dance, don't we? Don't you? Give me your foot. This one's getting too long. I'm going to shorten it. There we go. That side's done. All right, That one doesn't need to be shortened, though. That one needs to come. Um, if you put your wing in front of my face, I can't see, and I think you know that. kind of burns my fingers, okay? Come here. The long and the hard way. Let's see, which ones are worse? And they're all bad. They're all bad. What I couldn't do if I could use the real tool to do this. That's about right. Yeah, maybe just a hair long. It's hard to sharpen them so you have some kind of grip when I'm using these. You know? Sorry, sweetheart. It's just easier with the other tool. It's harder to do with this. If you're afraid of the Dremel, I can understand it. Oh, almost done for that one. The hardest one is this one back here, and that one's really overgrown, sweetheart. We gotta work on this one. That one grows so fast. Hey, sweetheart.
Just don't curl it up on me, sweetheart. I can't work with it like that. I know, I know, I understand, I know, I know, we need to get a new one, because we need to get this down a bit, I know, you can hold on to my hand, be my guest, be my guest, yes, oh, it's all right, sweetie, sweetie, it's okay, and we just have a ways to go on this toenail, okay, this is the worst one, this is the one that's way out of control back here, yeah, let me get the toenail, come on, Rome, let go. There you go, Rover. That isn't Roman bird. If you let me use the other tool, we could have this done a lot faster. I can't negotiate that with you, though. Because you don't understand that. And I can't explain it to you. So I just have to keep working with this. We have to get this nail down. Still pretty bad, kid. Still pretty bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. Rome, Rome, Rome. It's okay. It's okay. I know, I know. It takes a long time. I know. Daddy's irritatingly slow. I know. He's irritating and he's slow. And it's taking forever to get this nail done, isn't it? Yeah, it is. If we keep working on it though, we'll get it, we'll get it down to the side it's supposed to be. Yeah, we will. I promise. I promise it won't be much longer. I promise. Get me your nail. Give me your nail. Okay, that's good. That's that foot. Now let's do this one. I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do this other foot or not. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Okay, that's better. Let's do this back one. Yeah, this one on the outer back is not so bad, is it? The inner ones are always a problem. Okay, they well, are not quite. Now, I can do this much easier on this nail, so you don't need to get all get huffy with me, okay? This one I can do a little easier. Roman. I know, I know. Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy on the dad. That's one, this one needs to be it needs to be done, sweetheart. I'm sorry. One way or another, I need to get this one done. It's getting too long, so. No. 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 
we're going to do it. We're going to do that now. Whether you like it or not, we're going to do it. No, sweetheart, I understand. I understand. Or a pain in the nail or something like that. But no, it's too long. It's still too long. Look at it. It's still too long. When they get that long, they, hey, hey, when they get this long, they have to be taken down, sweetheart. It's not safe for you to have nails that long. Okay? All right. Your nails don't grow that fast. Probably because I can't get you to eat the really good food. They're hard enough, though. I'm going to leave a point on them. Yeah, this one needs to even do that now. Yeah. This one looks a little bit long. Just a little bit. So we're just going to trim it down and make it maybe a hair sharper. See this foot. I didn't need to do the foot. I'm gonna put the back. Yeah, this one needs to be. Whoa! Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? Alright. Put your foot right there. It's fine. Wherever you gotta put it. You okay that way? Okay, that's all we needed to do for you. Okay. We're going to do your nails. Okay. Your nails don't really get too warm. They just get shut. Got a little bit long, kid. Don't do that to hurt your tongue. No. No. Come on. You got one last nail to do, you silly. Just one. Good girl. Yeah, what's going on with this one?
Sorry, Chloe. Didn't mean to hurt you. Let me have your foot. Let me have your foot. Let me have your foot up in the air. For a okay. Now this one. Very good, Chloe. Good girl, Chloe. See how much you weigh, sweetheart. You ready? You ready for this big guy? Come on, let's do it. Hello, Hello sweetheart, how you doing? Can I do this invisible one too while we're at it? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Give me your foot. Give me your foot. That's a good boy. This one. Okay, that one needs some adjustment. That one's a little long. I know. I know. Let me get a little sensitive, huh? Just a bit? Yeah, okay. Come here, foot. Whoops, whoops. I know it's not as easy to balance with the other foot. I know. Very good. You're done. So how much you weigh? You have to wear the collar because you won't. Oops. That doesn't work. Sorry, Peach.
That's always the hardest one to get. So this one back here. Okay, we got them all. All right, all right. There you go. I am sorry. We have to do it. We have to do it, sweetheart. Can't have your nails get too long. I know, I know, but you were a good girl. You were. You did pretty well. I know you don't like your nails done, so that's how we have to do it. You got some strong nails there, kid. You know it. Yeah, I know. Daddy's always got to do the nails. One more on this foot. Okay, other foot. This other foot. The other foot. Sorry. Yeah, that's good, little Lorelei. This foot. There you go. You're so good at that Lorelei, it doesn't take any time, does it? And how long have I known you? Since you were three months old? Is that how long? Please visit our website at www.chloesanctuary.org. That's Chloe spelled C-H-L-O-E. You can support us on a per-episode basis by visiting www.patreon.com, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N, forward slash Chloe Sanctuary.